let's talk about the Krebs cycle, also known as the citric acid cycle. The Krebs cycle is an important process with the main goal of producing CO2, ATP, FADH2, and NADH. It produces a total of two ATP as a part of a larger system of reactions. ATPs are used as energy on a cellular level to complete actions. The Krebs cycle can be broken down into eight main steps that are labeled with the chemical involved at each step. An easy way to remember these steps is, can I keep selling soup for money, officer? Which is a mnemonic for citrate, isocitrate, ketogalugrate, succinocoa, succinate, fumarate, malate, and oxalacetate. Each step is also labeled by the amount of carbon left at each end of the step. I like to think of it as 665 Four, 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 four. By memorizing the string of numbers, you can put them up with the respective steps while filling out the cycle. If it's easier to remember it with the step, just label the chemicals with the respective number. For example, citrate 6. Now let's look at the diagram of the Krebs cycle. Whoa, that's one complicated diagram. But don't worry, we can break it down and make it easy to memorize. Let's look at the numbered steps, then at the end we can place them onto the diagram. Step 1, citrate. ACTL-CoA, 2 carbons, joins with oxalacetate, 4 carbons, to form citrate. In the end, we're left with 6 carbons as citrate. Step 2, isocitrate. Citrate is converted into isocitrate. Isocitrate is an isomer of citrate, meaning it has the same amount of carbons. In the end, we are left with six carbons being the isocitrate. Step three, ketogalugrate. Isocitrate is oxidized into alpha ketogalugrate, a five carbon molecule, which results in the release of carbon dioxide, losing a carbon. One NADH molecule is formed. In the end, we are left with five carbons that make up keto galugrate. Step four, sectional COA. Alpha keto galugrate is oxidized to form a four carbon molecule. This binds to a coenzyme which forms sectional COA. A second molecule of NADH is produced. In the end, we are left with four carbons in the form of sectional COA. Step five, sectionate. Sectional COA is then converted into sectionate four carbons, and one GTP molecule is produced. In the end, we are left with four carbons that make up succinate. Step 6. Fumarate. Succinate is converted into fumarate, four carbons, and a molecule of FADH2 is produced. In the end, we are left again with four carbons, but this time they make up fumarate. Step 7. Malate. Fumarate is converted into malate, another four carbons. In the end, we are left with four carbons in the form of malate. And last but not least, step eight, oxaloacetate. Malate is then converted into oxaloacetate. The third molecule of NADH is produced, and the result is four carbons as oxaloacetate that will eventually be used to start the process of the Krebs cycle. Now that we know the steps and what they do, let's look at that diagram again. That's a bit easier to understand now, isn't it? Let's do a quick recap of the things we've learned today. Malate is then converted into oxalacetate. The third molecule of NADH is produced, and the result is four carbons as oxalacetate that will eventually be used to start the process of the Krebs cycle. Now that we know the steps and what they do, let's look at that diagram again. That's a bit easier to understand now, isn't it? Let's do a quick recap of the things we've learned today. The Krebs cycle creates two ATPs. The Krebs cycle is known as the citric acid cycle. There are eight steps which can be remembered by, can I keep selling soup for money officer? The number of carbons in the order of the steps are six, six, five, four, 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 four. or two sixes, one five, and four.
five fours. If you're still having trouble memorizing, you can always watch the video again, or use the cheat sheet down in the description to help you memorize the basics. Thanks for watching, and have fun learning!